Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm hoping that this parcel has what I think is going to be inside. So last year, so 2021, I did a crochet teacher course in uh, Australian an Australian crochet teacher course in Queensland and we had a fantastic time and went over three days, two days, three days. The course, I think the course was, yeah, the course was three days. I can't remember. It was last year. It's almost a year ago. But it was a load of fun and we learnt so much and it was quite a full on uh, course to do. And you had to make heaps of samples and uh, prove that you could follow instructions and you pretty much knew what you were doing and you could teach someone how to crochet. So this was run by the Australian Crochet Guild, which is newly formed here in Australia. We hadn't had one until I think about two, three years ago. So I can see in the parcel, the folder there, this is my crochet samples, but I don't know what that is. Let me just get out my crochet samples first, and I uh, you had to you, you got a um, what do you call it like a worksheet, and you had to follow what the instructions were to prove that you could do that. So I'll just show you a couple. There's loads. So you had to fit things like you had to show that you could single crochet and keep neat edges and keep your count and everything like that. And then there's a half double crochet, a treble crochet, etc. And you had to show that you could make shapes. So that was, you know, a triangle and like you had to follow the instructions that they had. So then there were swatches. So there's like a cluster stitch. And what's this one? A popcorn stitch. Well, I found that the hardest to do because I kept losing count <laughs> but I got there in the end that's all that matters and then you had to read a granny square pattern and follow that which was different to the way that I do my gra granny squares so I had to concentrate there's a hexagon motif a circle one etc so there's loads as you can see the book is chock-a-block Um, let's see if there's anything special. Um, we had filet crochet, which I had never done myself. I think that's an F or an E. I can't remember what it was now. It could be an F. It looks like an F. Uh, I had never done filet crochet myself, so that was a learning experience for me. It is just a lot of chains and double crochets. That's an, a US cro double crochet or a UK Aussie treble. And what else did we? Oh, we had to. We had to design a pattern. So design the pattern, write the pattern, and then have a plan to teach in person. So like for me, it would be generally on on video tutorial, but it had to be an in person class. So you had to write the pattern. So that's the pattern. You had to have your sample. I think that's my sample. That might actually be a sample for because this spiral crochet method. That might actually just be for that. Let me just have a look. Hang on. Okay, I can't remember. <laughs> I sent this off ages ago, so I can't remember. But we did have to design a pattern. And then, yeah, so then we had to do a class and we had to do a beginner class that you learn the, the technique or the stitches so for me it was to learn double crochets and okay so you had to, in class one you had to have three classes so class one was to learn double crochets so that's my swatch and this had to be all blocked and everything so it looked nice for presentation so the the first class you would learn how to do a double crochet 
or an American, uh, sorry, a US or words, an Australian or UK travel. And then class two would be how to make a granny square. So that's been uh, blocked, washed and blocked. Looks so good. It's been nice and flat too because it's probably been in storage for a while. So yes, yeah, so class one was just to learn the double crochet, which is what you learn how to, which are the stitches in here. Then class two was how to make a granny square. And then class three, you had to put all of your things that you learned together. Let me just pop that back in there. Sorry for the crinkling. So then class three was how to make these fingerless mitts. I do already have a video tutorial online on my channel on how to make these. So that was what you learned in the third class. And then, yeah, so you put all your techniques together. So you learned the double crochet here, so you, you did that bit. And then you learned how to do a granny square, so you made that part, so you made two of those, and then joined them together. It's very easy to do. If you know how to make a granny square, you'll find that an easy pattern. And so it wasn't actually a real class. You just had to plan the class. I didn't teach this class in person. You had to have your plan in place so that if you were going to teach the class, you had three lessons. So yeah, I actually enjoyed that because, I don't know, I did. I enjoyed that because you took that one class and it eventually came, became three. So I thought that was really good. I just noticed I haven't sewn my end in there. Hopefully that came out during transit. <laughs> and it wasn't me that forgot. Okay, so that was my samples. So we get to keep those, you get to have those back. So let's have a look see what is in this. So it's a piece of paper. And it's from the Crochet Guild. And it says... <gasps> Dear Claire... Congratulations on successively, successfully completing the teacher certificate training. Well done and thank you for all your hard work and your and for going forward and teaching others. Your certificate is being printed and will be sent shortly. Okay, so they got notes about my submission. I just saw one that was, yeah, anyway, I shall read it. And it says, your beginner's class was well thought out. The only improvement would be to specify cotton yarn for dishcloths to make it more practical and suitable yarn for choice. I love your fingerless gloves. Yay! We know that UK and US terms are used for teaching as an Australian guild. It would be great to have Australian terms as well. As your spiral class and add the USA terms as an extra if this is the language you're most comfortable using. Ah, so I must have wrote that pattern in American terms. Oops. It's very hard for me to convert to Australian, which is really odd considering that's where I live. This is a great effort. My only negative comment is about ending off towels more efficiently. <gasps> they must have come out and I can't believe they were so short. I must have been rushing honestly which was what I was doing at the end <laughs> we have altered the notes in the manual to be more helpful and I will do a short video clip for this for the guild webpage you have not been penalized for this yes <laughs> if you require any discussion about your submission send me a text to arrange a consultation may giving you the opportunity to teach crochet with confidence be the best gift you can give others Warm regards, Jenny. Thanks, Jenny. So exciting. Yeah, so great feedback too on... I can't believe my tails were so short. That's I don't normally do that. Like, what happened? I don't know. But I'm not making up excuses because that is what I sent and that is what got uh, judged, I guess. Ooh. Oh. Ah, okay. So I've got a worksheet here with ticks. And it says like all the sample numbers down the side. And then it says uh, presentation, tension, 
pattern accuracy, blocking and ends woven in. And I got good on everything except for ends woven in on sample 9 and sample 19. Oh my goodness, how embarrassing. <laughs> I must say, that's one of the things I hate about crochet. Oh dear. I shall have that ringing in my head now to weave my ends in better. But I'm very excited that I passed. Gosh, it was a lot of hard work. So I am so glad. Yay! Yay, yay, yay! Very exciting. Alright, that is all I had for today's video. Um, and yes, I know you're going to say you don't need a certificate to say that you know how to crochet. and But I just wanted to get it. I just wanted to have the certificate. Because I've crocheted for so long. I've crocheted for about 20 years. And to have the certificate to say that I'm an official crochet teacher. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. So... Have any of you ever done a crochet certificate training of any of any type? I would love to know. Or if you want to do it, um, do you know there's any way that you can? So if you're an Australian, you can approach the Crochet Guild Australia. And I think, I think, I'm not sure, I think you can do it online as well. So you don't need to be there in person. Even though it was done at the Crochet Conference even though in person was so worth it because you made I've made so many connections and friends from that conference so yeah it was a lot of fun anyway uh that's all I've got for you today thanks for watching till next time happy crochet bye